Hey everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will solve some examples to practice different transformations. It's easy peasy. For simplicity, when you have different transformations, always try to follow this order. First, apply time shifting. Second, go for time scaling. Then, amplitude scaling. And finally, amplitude shifting. Let me write it down again. First, time shift the signal. Next, go for time scaling, and if A is negative, reflect the signal with respect to Y axis. Then, do amplitude scaling, and if C is negative, reflect the signal with respect to the X axis. Finally, do the amplitude shifting. If you follow these simple steps, basically you can solve every single example super easy. Example number 1. X of T is given. And the question is, what is 2 multiplied by x of minus 2t plus 3 plus another 3? It would be awesome if you can pause the video and try to solve the example yourself. Then, you can continue watching and compare your solution to mine. Step number 1. Time shift the signal. The shift value is positive, so we need to shift the signal to the left by 3 units. 3 on the time axis goes to 0, minus 3 goes to minus 6. Here is the shifted signal. Step number 2. Time scaling. 2t means we play signal with double speed. So it takes less time to finish and therefore we need to compress the signal by a factor of 2. So minus 6 on the time axis goes to minus 3 and 0 doesn't change. 0 divided by 2 is still 0. Here is the scaled signal. Note that the time scaling factor is negative in this example which means we play signal from the end to the beginning. That means we need to reflect the signal with respect to the y-axis. So minus 3 goes to 3 and 0 stays at 0. Here we go. Next step is amplitude scaling. We multiply the signal by 2. The shape doesn't change in time direction. All we need to do is to multiply the value by 2. So 1 on the y-axis goes to 2. Here is our magnified signal. Finally, apply amplitude shifting. The whole signal goes up by 3 units. 0 goes to 3, 2 on the y-axis goes to 5, and here is the signal. It's done, done. Let's go for the second example. x of t is given, and the question is, what is 2 multiplied by x of half t minus 1? This is super easy. Step number 1. Apply time shifting. The shift value here is negative, so we shift the signal by one unit to the right. 1 on the time axis goes to 2, 2 goes to 3, and 0 goes to 1. The amplitude stays the same. Here is the shifted signal. Step number 2. Apply time scaling. The scaling factor is half, which means we play signal by half speed, so it takes more time to finish and therefore we expand the signal in time direction by a factor of 2. So 1 on the time axis goes to 2, and 2 goes to 4, and 3 goes to 6. Here is our scaled signal. And finally, apply amplitude scaling. The signal doesn't change in time direction. All we need to do is to scale up the amplitude by a factor of 2. Done, done. Before I let you go, I want to solve one more example to make sure you completely got it. x of t is given, and the question is, what is minus x of t divided by 3 minus 1? Step number 1, time shifting. The shift value here is negative, so we need to shift the signal to the right by 1 unit. Minus 2 on time axis goes to minus 1, minus 1 goes to 0, 0 goes to 1, and 1 goes to 2. Here is the shifted signal. The amplitude stays the same. Step number 2. Apply time scaling. The scaling factor is 1 divided by 3, which means we play signal by one third of normal speed. So all we need to do is to expand the signal by a factor of 3. Minus 1 goes to minus 3, 0 goes to 0, 1 goes to 3, and 2 goes to 6. Here is our scaled signal. The amplitude doesn't change again. Finally, multiply the signal by minus 1, which means we need to reflect the signal with respect to the x-axis. 
The signal doesn't change in the time direction. 1 on the y-axis goes to minus 1 and minus 1 goes to 1. Here is the final answer. That's the end of this tutorial. In the next video, I will talk about some interesting properties of signals. Specifically, I will explain even odd and periodic signals. It's gonna be awesome, don't miss it. Okay, enough talking, thanks for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video.